So, I have no idea how long I have to record this video because I'm doing it on my phone. And I don't know if you can see me. I really hope you do. But I'm going to do a quick, um, quick update. Quick Blu-ray DVD update. Kind of an even update. Anyways, um, this is stuff that I've gotten from mid-May, which was the last time I did an update, to now. Um, and, yeah, there, well, I'll just go ahead and get into it. Um, the first one I got was, uh, Straight Outta Compton. And we found this, uh, at Target. I think this one was $10, yeah. This was on a week when it was $10, and my husband and I saw this in the theaters. We both loved it. My husband absolutely adored this movie. Um, you wouldn't know by looking at my husband, but he he loves, he likes, like, Easy e Dr. Dre, and all that. And he loved the story and, and everything. But yeah, 10 bucks, hell of a deal. And I think it, it hadn't been out for that long, so yeah. Um, next one course we got Deadpool I mean why not and this um, at Target as well on the same same week was $12 so we got this one in straight out of Compton at the same time um, and yeah we saw this one in theaters for Valentine's Day absolutely loved it <laughs> we died laughing and we were determined to get it um, on Blu-ray right when it came out and we did um, and I think we've watched it like at least three times since we've got since we got the Blu-ray. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, next is Dolls. This is the Screen Factory edition. Um, and this was like early Charles, B no, I don't think this was early Charles Band. But I know Charles Band was a producer and uh, Stuart Gordon directed it and Brian Usna was also a producer. And Brian Usna did like, does like I remember right he did like from beyond and society and like really like um is it called body horror i think it yeah it's like body horror type movies um but this one is like mm, it's like a more classier child's play i would i, the, I don't know i guess that's the really only way i know how to describe it but yeah it's the Scream Factory edition which you got like the really awesome uh, artwork on the front and then some really cool on the back and then on the inside you have the alternate cover which is just the original poster and I remember as a kid seeing this poster all the freaking time and being like half scared and half intrigued by it um I've got like a lot of special features right there and on the inside you got the the disc and then um it's got like oh, i guess i should take the disc out um the same r as a slip cover and then the back is a lot is different as well on that so uh but yeah very happy i really want to grow my screen factory collection which i know a lot of horror fans want that um, next is Stephen King's Golden Years. I also got Stephen King's Storm of the Century, um, but my co-worker's borrowing it right now. And this is, um, I got this from Movie Stop, which Hastings, I think Hastings bought them, or Movie Stop bought Hastings, or something like that. I can't remember what way it went. Um, but as most of you know, Hastings went out of business, so Movie Stop was going out of business, and so they had... Or like um, really good going out of business sales and I went like three times and got a bunch of stuff for um, between one and two dollars and I I had all of that but then here recently um, I ended up trading them all in for cash at a second and Charles um, so I don't I don't really have any of those except for uh, the two Stephen King ones um, I think for that one I only paid like a dollar something and same for Storm of the Century. Uh, next I got, ooh, ooh, shit. Um, Tales from the Crypt. This is the second season. I found this at Walmart for $10 and right now with all the Halloween stuff they have, <coughs> excuse me, they've got season three for $10, which I'll probably get that at some point before it's gone. I don't know, hopefully. Um.
excuse me, I had like a really bad sore throat. Um, I, I mean, I don't really know if I'm gonna get it or not, but I'd like to. I mean, I've got seasons one and two. Um, the last one I got, which is the most recent find, um, I got Creep Show on DVD, and I found this at a Goodwill for three dollars. Um, and I've never seen the first Creep Show. I know my husband has, and I, but I've seen the second one with the Native American statue that comes to life and the weird black ooze in the lake and the kids on, and then they're like trapped on the, the dock, the floating dock. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I've never seen that one. We watched it the night that I picked it, that I picked it up and I like it. Um, I've always been a really big fan of like the anthology horror type, uh, movies. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all of my pickups. Um, I don't really know. I'm going to try and pick up a few horror titles for October, uh, because this is my favorite month of the year. Uh, one of them anyways. Um, and I love, I know last year I got a bunch of the, um, the art card Blu-rays that Walmart had out. I know Best Buy had some, and I'm sure some other places did too, but, uh, I might do a separate video for those. Because I, I got quite a bit now, just from last year. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. That's Hopefully I'll, you know, start doing more videos right now, um, at least from my phone. Because I found the tripod mount for my tablet. And my phone happens to fit into it perfectly. Like, it doesn't clamp. But the way my case is, it, it just, it sits down in the lower clamps perfectly. So, there's that. <laughs> so, I kind of, I'm, I don't have to, like, hold it out and kill my arm and have shaky camera shit um, or crap, whatever. Uh, but, yeah. And I'm saying, uh, a lot. That's my bad. So, yeah. Talk to you later, guys.